Hey everybody, Roger here. I want to talk to you guys today about something that just kind of broke, um, and it kind of it kind of pisses me off uh, because it's it's it sounds like a scenario uh, that I dealt with as as a, as, a, as a as a teenager, as a as a as a kid, you know, growing up in a school where um, I was I was constantly bullied. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I know everybody was. I know everybody to an extent was, um, but I was the kid that everybody bullied. One of maybe two or three kids in my school that everybody bullied. Everybody. And uh, it was incessant. It was annoying. And, you know, sometimes you felt like you're alone. Um, and reading this story it's really kind of irked me, so I kind of wanted to share it. Um, it's an extension of something that happened earlier this year. I think you guys all recall the Parkland shooter. I think you guys all recall uh, Sheriff Scott Israel and um, uh, Scott Peterson, the officer who did not even go in to do anything, and he was just kind of kind of pushed out, cowered out. Well, <clears throat> the Daily Wire has just uh, published a report saying uh, Deputy Peterson accused of covering up alleged sexual assault by Broward Sheriff's son. This is big news. This is big news. So. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through this and then and then we're going to highlight some notes here. This is my first time doing something like this. I usually do a live stream, but I just want to kind of do something raw because it just kind of irked me the wrong way tonight before I went to bed. Okay, so this article is by Ryan Saavedra, I guess, uh, at Real Saavedra, S-A-A-V-E-D-R-A. -A -A. Okay, so a local Miami news station released an explosive report on Thursday night about a disturbing assault that happened at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School four years ago uh, to the day before the tragic shooting in February. The alleged incident involved one of the sons, one of the sons of Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel, and was allegedly covered up by Broward, I'm sorry, by Officer Scott Peterson, uh, the resource officer who infamously failed to confront the Parkland shooter, like I said a little earlier. So you'll recognize both those names. Um, if the only thing you remember from the whole... Um, uh, Parkland shooting massacre is the March for Our Live event. March for Our Live event. March for Our Lives event that happened afterwards. And you know nothing about any of these fucking characters here. Then you have problems. Um, and 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 if you're if you're supporting that movement and you don't know nothing about the, the these people, the perpetrators is what I'm going to be calling them at this point. Then you have absolutely no room to have an opinion. An opinion that is worth uh, even debating. Um, uh, worth even uh, acknowledging, uh, because you're going to have to do some of your homework. Uh, uh, it sounds like you might want to choose just one side over the other instead of actually looking at everything. So, in a nutshell, that first sentence is basically said that there's there is a, a new report showing that uh, Sheriff Scott Israel's son was part of a bullying uh, act. Uh, uh, and it gets worse from here. And uh, the officer, Scott Peterson, is the guy who actually covered it up. So I'm thinking there's a little bit of favors going on here between these two guys. You know, let him, let Scott Peterson retire with his pension. You know, a hundred thousand dollar a year pension, by the way. Um, and and uh, and Scott Israel, you know, is is uh, getting away with a lot of shit that's going up, down his way right now as well, Mr. Hillary Clinton supporter. Okay, so moving on, um, WPLG Local 10 investigative reporter Bob Norman reported Thursday that two 17-year-old students, one of them being um, uh, uh, a Sheriff Scott Israel's son, allegedly bullied a 14-year-old freshman boy with one of the 17-year-olds holding down the student while the other 17-year-old kicked the victim, grabbed his genitals, and then grabbed the victim's own baseball bat and began shoving it against his buttocks, simulating rape through the boy's clothes. Okay. Before I go any further on this, I'm going to go ahead and describe something that I that was in the area that I used to live in um, back in the mid '90s. So, in the Washington State area, there was um, a uh, I guess you would call it a mop handle rape. Uh, it happened in one of the high schools. It was a wrestling team. And uh, I remember that it was on Donahue, the TV show Donahue. Uh, these three guys, three or four, uh, brothers and cousins, I guess, I can't remember. Uh, they, uh, one, one of the, there was, an, okay, there were three or four brothers, and then there was one other guy, and I guess some strange thing happened. This one other guy was not related to these people. They're all just wrestlers. This is after wrestling practice. 
and then I guess they went to the showers, and then all of a sudden, um, I guess no coaches were anywhere, or maybe there were, I, I don't know. Um, uh, this guy, I'm not going to mention his name, um, the victim, uh, ended up getting held, pinned down by all these, all these wrestlers, these brothers, these three brothers, four brothers, and pinned to the ground while they shoved a mop handle up his ass about eight or nine inches, almost uh, 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 perforating his rectum. Uh, his anus, whatever, um, uh, his rectum, sorry. I'm laughing about it right now, but, um, because of misuse of words, but it was not a funny news story at the time, and it still isn't. Um, this guy eventually had to, uh, I think, change his name, move out of town, um, and, and it just ended up being, uh, it was a pretty big story back when I was in high school. And <clears throat> the sad part is that these students eventually st these 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 bullies still eventually got to graduate high school so they were able to go back um doing something like that i mean can you believe this and donahue kind of grilled the guys i remember he was grilling um i don't think they were there on his show like in the in the in the audience or i'm sorry as the as the as guests i think uh they were like in a in a jail cell or something juvenile detention center and he was like um, talking to them through that, I think. I know, bro, I know the, I'm sorry, I almost said the name. Um, I know the victim was on the show. The victim was on the show, but the, the bullies, the perpetrators of this incident weren't. It was a pretty big deal. Uh, and these kids got away, and they were uh, very, very mean kids, got away with um, uh, this and still were able to graduate and go on and, and, and live life as normal. That little scenario there, along with this, goes to show you how much there's there's pull somewhere there's pull somewhere to allow something like this to be just um allowed to uh, to, to actually have an impact and, and let these people still lead, lead a normal life um when a crime should have been um when a crime should have been uh punished or when 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 a situation should have been punished those 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 uh bullies should have been punished uh, and and granted they were all kids and stuff but i mean uh teenagers um uh, 15 to 16, I guess, 17 years old. Crazy shit. So anyways, that's why this kind of irks me. Um, okay, so the father of one of the survivors of the Parkland shooting, Royer Borges, called for an invest investigation into the alleged incident last week. Uh, Patch.com reports, in a statement issued through his Fort Lauderdale attorney's office, Royer Borges said that a then 17-year-old son of the sheriff was involved in an incident with the former Deputy Scott Peterson, the former Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School resource officer. Peterson was the resource officer who failed to enter. I'm not going to read that because you, you guys already know that, uh, leaving 17 dead and others injured. The sheriff's son and another boy received a three-day suspension. Now, granted, the people from um, um, those three, four bullies that pinned down the victim in, in the, the wrestling team in Washington State in the mid-90s, um, they, I think they were suspended for a whole school year, but they still got to graduate with their graduating class. So, anyways, the sheriff's son and another boy received a three-day suspension, and this one's... <laughs> You know, this crime is kind of right up there, but, you know, there was no, um, you know, sticking something in somebody's ass, nine inches. Um, as a result of the 2014 incident, okay, let me start all over, sorry. The sheriff's son and another boy received a three-day suspension as a result of the 2014 incident in what police reports describe as a simple, as simple battery. They described it as a simple battery. Simple, simple battery. Okay. Borges said that the prior case involved a young man who was sexually assaulted. I could definitely go that route because there was there was obviously a contact to contact on in his, on his genitals and then and then holding him down forcibly against his will performing a sexual act with the bat. And granted some people might look at that and say okay well no that's battery. I'm sorry but the definition is there about what's all happening with this with this with this uh this this freshman this kid. Um it's traumatizing. It would be traumatizing. I mean it was traumatizing for this other the victim from from Washington, you know, he had to, I believe he had to change his name and move out of town. Okay. <clears throat> and then it goes on. Now I ask you, if this wouldn't have been the sheriff's son, would a sexual assault charge have been reduced to a simple battery? I'm going to have to say, in this town, no. Because it seems like, um, you know, they let um, Nicholas Cruz get away with uh, 39, 
officer calls where he did some pretty heinous things. I don't know, I won't even go into the details. Everybody knows them. And if you don't know them, go research them. They're everywhere. Uh, and they never reported anything. So Borges did ask this in a statement, but I, 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 I do think they still would have kept it as a simple battery charge, even if it wasn't the sheriff's son. Nicholas Cruz wasn't a son, and look at it, he got away with a lot of stuff. So, was Deputy Peterson allowed to retire with his pension because he protected Sheriff Scott, uh, Sheriff Israel's son from having a felony arrest? These are the questions that I am sure many people from this count, uh, county want answered. So, there's a video associated with it. I ended up commenting on it as well. Um, so, that's the briefing of it. I mean, I, uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's really talking about this right now. Um, here's my thing. This is obvious, okay, these, these Parkland students, um, uh, Emma Gonzalez, uh, David Hogg, and all of you kids who think you're fighting the good fight and stuff, I know you're seeing these stories. Not, not only that, even before you saw these stories, you saw what a lot of things the officers were doing, what your local authorities were doing, what your school failed to do, uh, that led to the massacre that you guys had. And you're shamelessly, shamelessly, supporting uh, this this whole uh, uh, gun, I'm going to say gun confiscation movement, uh, because that's basically what it is. Uh, you're seeing in Town Hall, which you can watch my other video about that. I covered that extensively. Um, you guys were all about feeling and nothing about fact. And what's, what's, what's sad is that the majority, there's a lot of Americans who would actually be okay with just feelings. Um, and they will make, they will, they will submit a vote in, in, on anything and, and form an opinion with feelings over facts. And that's where I differ. I tend to just want to look at the hard facts here. And, and, um, and this isn't a factual scenario. This is all an alleged scenario. Uh, I would love to look at those reports and, and, and factually see if this is in case if this is in fact what happened. If it did, boy, you guys are, you kids are following the wrong leaders. You kids are, are, you guys have been doing that from the start, even without this. But I mean, it just means that, that you guys are shady. You guys are shady. You know what's going on here. If you don't acknowledge this, I will be waiting for, for your response on, on what you think of this story here, of this cover up of him protecting his kid, not, 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 um, uh, have, having his son look he's he's using the law illegally uh this 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 uh, precinct here is using the law illegally they are they are not charging people with what they should be charging them with um and it sounds like in this case it's a special circumstance so they're also doing it knowingly they're not doing it for um you know giving the individual who committed the crime the benefit of the doubt this is the sh this is the sheriff's son this is this is the um, the the school um, uh, resource officer um, um, who failed to do shit to protect your school. All these are their faults, and you guys don't even want to point the fingers. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? And then you want to take it out on us, law-abiding citizens. You will not take. <laughs> you will. You will not take. I'm not even going to say the word because I don't want this video taken down from YouTube. But you know what you will not take from me. And you will not take it from everybody else either. Um, so, with that said, obvious abuses of power, if this does turn out to be more than an allegation. I, I really want those, those reports. Um, and uh, these are the people that, you know, the, the, these are your authorities. These are the people that you choose not to point a finger at. You're part of that audience. Everybody in the CNN town hall in uh, late February, early March, uh, Dana Lash was there. Sheriff Scott Israel sitting right next to her, and you chose to only lash out against Dana Lash, and you know insulting her along the way. You know she stood her ground and she was cordial and everything. You guys lashed out at her, but with all this shit, with everything that's going on, with the thirty nine times that this kid wasn't uh, 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 Nicholas Cruz was ever uh, reported. If they would have done his job, if they, if the cops would have done their jobs, I want you guys to remember, and you guys know this, you guys know this, you 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 Parkland students, you know this, you you activists, you you hogs and you and your um, uh, Gonzalez's, you guys know this. If the officers were to have done their job and put his information in a native, it put Cruz's actions as crimes in a national database, he would not have purchased. He was he would not have been able to purchase those guns. Granted. Maybe through loopholes, 
Maybe, maybe, but you know what? He purchased them legally. The end result is he went through the legal process. He got them legally. Nobody knows if he would have been able to buy guns uh, outside of that or not, but we never will know. All we know now is that the facts are there. The facts are there that he passed his gun. He, he passed his uh, background check clean as a whistle because the Parkland police did not do their job. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Why don't you guys ever talk about that? So, so with that, um, you know, you also you also have uh, Emma Gonzalez saying that all you guys, all you students, used to um, uh, ostracize um, Nicholas Cruz. You would purposefully avoid him, and then his brother, you know, asked to leave the state. Um, the brother who used to abuse N Nicholas Cruz, you know, that kid had no support from what it sounds like. I mean, where were some of the teachers? You, I've read some reports that some of the teachers didn't even really like didn't really like the kid either. Um, it doesn't sound like there was any effort, at least to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, and please post post evidence as well stating this, uh, showing evidence of it, that there were actually efforts to bring in um, human uh, student resources or some sort of a guidance counselor to help him out. He lost his dad at a young age. I'm not forgiving him for what he did. Obviously, nobody should. Um, he's guilty 100% for every every crap thing that he did, did. But there were a lot of preventable measures that could have taken place and you guys are you guys are fighting a stupid ass fake battle right now with us us law-abiding citizens when you should be really upset at your local uh police enforcement officers um locally there um you should also be ashamed of the fbi that came out and did shit when 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 information was being reported and right now you should be ashamed of your fucking selves you guys i'm so glad that okay i'm <laughs> not glad not glad um this last um, horrible, you know, uh, uh, gun uh, school shooting where 10 lives were lost, I think it was about 10, um, you guys tried to make another stink. I'm glad your effort didn't pull through. I think we're all sick and tired of you guys' charges. Um, you guys are obviously, the majority of us know you guys are looking, you guys are barking down the wrong tree. You guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you're trying to push an agenda of gun confiscation or, or I don't know. What 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 is what is what is the phrase? Um, common sense gun control. Common sense gun control. God, I fucking hate that phrase. You guys don't even know what it means. You know what? You guys have it down condensed down, just like all your chants. You know that you guys do in the in rallies and stuff. Um, you know what what is it? The f the police, f the police. But you guys have no reasoning. Every time you guys want to say something like that, we find ten videos where it shows body cam footage shows. A completely opposite of what you say. And then you guys support people like Sean King. What the fuck is that all about? Sean King, the guy who tried to say that, you know, tried to, you know, he posted this whole thread on Twitter, which has now been taken off, um, where he's defending the words of this woman who said that an officer was groping her, had sex, had penetration, sexual penetration with her, you know, had sex. Um, and the body cam footage, oh, and even went so far as the attorney, you know, shaming the officer for this. It's a hell of an accusation. It's a hell of an accusation body cam footage and then there's this one stupid lady on on twitter i don't know what her name is I, i've been going back and forth with, i she hasn't responded to me but i keep posting on her on her twitter wall um hey you know why why uh, uh she's basically saying that body cam footage can be used negatively uh for um for human rights progression and so what i do is i'm like oh did did this video by chance ruin that you know because if if there was no body cam footage this woman would have been able to destroy this family's lives um you know because they were a, a a lot of people after after sean king talcum x hashtag talcum x um started posting these allegations that this officer did all these things to the woman there should be some charges to something like that too by the way and twitter you guys should be on the lookout for something like that as well you should be banning that guy because he's already making false accusations of an officer and it's going to result in the death possible injury of some of his family members and friends. Hey, I'm helping you out here. So anyways, he, you know, he makes up this elaborate story and, um, and then he removes the, the tweet. Um, but that body cam footage, man, it, it just totally served justice. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted because I'm, I am trying to find that lady's name. But anyways, I posted some of these videos uh, saying, you know, so it's, it's, it's bad for the movement of civil, supposed civil right advancement to, um, to not show body cam footage. 
you want to take people's words for it you like that pastor who got uh, uh, uh yeah that the, the reverend who got pulled over and and wrote a facebook art uh post about how the racist officer said you shouldn't be whose vehicle is this and and what are you doing driving in this town are there drugs in the car and they come to find out when you watch the video um the body cam footage um completely nice guy officer even let him go with, with when his plates were incorrect for the vehicle and and uh just like you know just you sh shouldn't be driving this you know and and um but go on home and have a good day until you get the car fixed don't drive it around the officer was nice and this this the 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 black guy in this video the reverend who doesn't lie um according to his congregation um they 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 believe him they believe him so is this the movement that you're talking about that's going to be affected? We're going to make a movement of, of, of liars that's going to hurt other officers and their families, the people who are actually trying to do good? You'd rather have deceit? I don't fucking get any of you guys right now. I don't get you, you uh, David Hoggs. I don't get you, you March for Our Lives supporters and activists. I don't get you guys. You guys are, you guys are attacking the wrong people here. This kid probably drank monster drinks every day. He probably ate McDonald's. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming he did. And uh, he probably has medications. All these, there's a lot of these these uh, mass murderers who, who do at least have a combo of those three things. I mean, they're all fucking GMO'd in the head and pilled out. You know, they're freaking out because nobody wants to pay attention to them. This is, this is a doctor's way of saying, hey, this is how you resolve the problem. Just so you don't have to fucking listen to him or her. Um, I don't want to be sexist because women can be mass murderers too, right? Um... So anyways, you know, generalizations aside here, um, this is a fabricated movement. This is a fabricated movement, um, and hopefully this information goes the rounds. Hopefully you pass this information out because this is, it's just, it's just sick how these people get away with shit like this all the time. I mean, you can go ahead and lie, you can have fucking stupid ass sellout Anna Navarro acting all Republican when she's not, um... Say that it's wrong to call MS-13 and, and Mexicans. She says Mexicans in general. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But claims that Trump says that animals is not a word to use for Mexicans. Well, she used she called Donald Trump uh, animal a little bit. I think last year, and I asked her, you know, why do you defend using this word now when you're not going to defend using the word? You call Donald Trump an animal, but you're not calling MS-13 animals, and they kill people. Your logic is just, you know, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to be awaiting their responses to this particular allegation. David Hogg, I expect you to tweet about this. Emma Gonzalez, I expect you to tweet about this. Um, at March for Our Lives group, Twitter group, I expect you to tweet about this as well. Make a public statement. Oh, Sheriff Scott Israel, please. And, and, and retired officer Scott Peterson, please, by all means, respond to these allegations. Allegations. Um... I'm so glad this, this, this man, this father, came out with this information. Um, it's it's going to go a long ways. Hopefully, people are going to be opening up their ears. I doubt the majority of people who actually support the March for Our Lives movement are going to be listening. But spread this around enough. I mean, if, if, um, if every little bit helps. Because otherwise, if we don't, we don't spread information that is valid, that, 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 that shows the true nature of these people who are trying to take our rights... Uh, our civility and the truth away, then we only have ourselves to blame. Anyways, um, you know, as uh, again, as somebody who who was who was bullied almost all my life, uh, all my gro you know uh, school life, you know, as a young man, a young child, uh, I was bullied from like I don't know grade five through twelve. So I was bullied those years. Um, as a man who went through that, you know, I would go to school get bullied I would go home I'd have nobody to talk to I mean yes I had could talk to my siblings and stuff and I but I always kept a lot of stuff away because it was just embarrassing the things that they would bully me about and how they would bully me I mean it was it was to to this degree it was it was to this degree if not worse so um, yeah I've um, I have some memories of that and and I am over it but I'm telling you, when when you see people that bully you get justice in a certain way, like this kid right here, he's seen this these guys get away with, you know, he had this tragic thing happen to him. A freshman student gets this tragic thing happen to him, and because and because one of the bullies is the sheriff's son, he's, he gets to get away with it. A 17 year old picking on a 13 or 14 year old, I mean, come on. 
So anyways, I'm done ranting. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think this kind of the um, pushing this, this this information, if it does turn out to be true, these are, I think, allegations at this point in time. Again, I would like to see the articles. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to go, you, spreading this around is actually going to do some um, damage? They're going to have to have some damage control for the March for Our Lives movement? Or do you think they're just going to avoid it like they always do everything else? Um, comment, rate, subscribe, like, hate. Uh, do whatever you want on my channel. I don't care. Uh, I love hearing all opinions um, And I will I always do my best to respond my channels are getting Pretty packed with comments. So I do my best to keep up, but I can't guarantee I can get to all of them I have a pretty busy job and stuff. So and I'm also going to be uh, moving in the next week So I mean, I'll, I'll do my best to try to make some videos in that between that time uh, But yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you guys all have a good night and we'll talk to you later. Peace